me like I it ain't nothing. Kind words is kind words, and I always appreciate them because it show you like all right, niggas watching, niggas like all right. Shoot me, I see you. As long as nigga like I see you, cool. I'm gonna just go do my own. Cause whether nigga like I see you or they like I don't see you, I'm, still I'm gonna still do my shit. Yeah, you feel me? Like, so it's like, okay, cool. It's like comforting, yeah. Yeah, cause you like you're, you're who, you're greatest. him, H I M. Like you feel me? So then, hell yeah, she feel good. I know. I was like, I was like that. Oh, <laughs> you feel this, I was like that. This is fine. <laughs> I'm like, shut up, look at my nigga doc, turn it oh, up, God. man. That was amazing. That was dope, man. And um, that was super dope. But you also, you know, you also did something very dope. Too. That shit sent that shit up too. Like, that it shit did. sent that song up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good not signed. Yeah. Good, good. Good, yeah. good tune, tune core check. Yeah. <laughs>
DNA was the first song that I ever made. That well, it was the second song I ever made, but it was the first song that I made that dealt with like actual emotion. Yeah, because like, someone passed. You got like a text that someone passed away yeah, or something like my that. My nigga DJ. Yeah. So it was like, I feel like everybody hears this story, but niggas was in the studio because we was gonna make a song. Tebe, that's my brother. So like, mm -hmm. he went after Trash Man. He was like, "Oh yeah, I need you on my shit, whatever." So he, we was trying to figure out the song because I'm not a rapper at that point. Like I'm yeah. not like, oh, let's just go vibe out, figure it out. Like even though I'm writing my own shit, but I'm not like, like I'm still like kind of looking for like the validation. Like, is this what you want me to do? Like how do like you yeah, know? you're navigating uh -huh. through the shit. Yeah. So then, so then we go to the studio. This nigga started changing the beat up, switching up. We in the studio cooling. The homie hit me like, what you on? He pull up on me. That nigga is like, he like, oh, I got acid, whatever. He took one and he had one more. And I was like, oh, I thought you had more. Cause was like, I thought it was gonna be like a thing. Mm -hmm. Cause I was like, I'm not about to be the only nigga here tripping for real. Yeah. But then Terry was kind of like, nah, do your thing. Like, have your fun. I was like, all right, fuck it. So then I'm gonna fucking take the acid. 10 minutes later, I get a text message. Cause my, my friend, he had got shot. He was in the hospital. He was in the hospital for a little minute. Mm -hmm. he, like, and like niggas thought he was gonna be straight though. Like he was in there and like he was like, all right, he doing better, he doing like you constantly hear that he doing better, he doing mm -hmm. better. Like, all right, my nigga gonna be good. Then I got the other text and I was like, fuck, like that shit fucked my head up because mm -hmm. it was so much shit going on in my life at the time too. That it was like it was just so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that shit. That shit had me going my it had my mind going all over the place like yeah i was like everywhere with that shit like i was smiling i was laughing i feel bad for laughing like i was feel i, I like cry a little bit but not but then i think of like something positive about my bro so it's like then i start smiling and laughing like it was just a trip that shit was really a trip that's like that sounded like a crazy way to go into like an acid trip like <laughs> yeah and that's the thing like it's acid that shit is forever like that shit's lasting so then Niggas uh did the song and everything. Yeah, that, but that shit's funny because it's like a movie. Like I look at this nigga Tebe and I'm like, I'm like smiling, but my eyes like kind of wet. Like <laughs> <laughs> and it was just I, I'm pretty sure it was just me, Vic. Vic uh Tebe. Vic Stable? Vic, oh, Vic. No, not no, Vince, no. Vic. Vic. The, yeah, yeah. The engineer. engineer. Shout out yeah. my nigga Gracias, bro. Yeah, man. yeah. Shout out my nigga Vic, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga Vic. So uh and and Amos. So I'm sitting there, I look at this nigga, and I'm like, bro, I don't know what to do, bro. Like, I have no idea. Like, I literally did not know what to do. Like, he was like, the nigga looked at me and said, write about it. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like some, that's some like Earl Sweatshirt movie, movie shit. Yeah, like a movie, Earl's, that shit was hilarious. Earl is that, like, movie quotable, like, just live his life. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. You know what I'm saying? That's some, like, typical, like, Earl shit. Like, yeah, bro. nigga, like. Write that, write about that shit, nigga. It's real, nigga, like, sure. this real. Oh, Put that shit in motion, you know what I'm saying? I don't, my boy. Let's see how these. Um, all right, all right, no. Yo, peace. Hey, this nigga Earl just no, be having early. gems, man. Yeah, early, early. Since, uh, he actually has my favorite uh song right now, man. I ain't gonna lie. Oh God, that 2010. That 2010 by Earl Special, man. Yeah, make sure y'all go fuck with that. Oh God, I'm a slump dog. That, I'm, I'm with it then. Man. Oh God, I woke up and that nigga made that song. Where? Yeah, like I was there. But if I'm not, I swear to God, cause niggas go to Albuquerque and the motherfuckers be high as fuck. <laughs> it be comfortable over there. Niggas be playing shit. And this nigga Tebe, this nigga be up at, he, he like wait. <laughs> like that nigga's like, he gonna wait. And then he gonna do his shit when everybody sleep. And then y'all wake up to some fire ass music from High key. From yeah. Tebe, that's crazy, man. That nigga's man, Earl's a legend, man. It's so, it's a very that was dope talking to you both. You guys at um, they Vegas. in Vegas, just like about just music and and just like stuff that you're fucking with and life and everything. But like, let's get back to um, you know, all the things you've learned, you know, with those three projects. Like, what are like what are the things that you know you're constantly learning with growing and everything? Oh yeah, shit. Learning how to rap, learning how to drop music, 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wish I didn't do it this way. Like I wish I did it the other way. Like where you just learn and learn and learn you and you a keep bunch it, like, of shit and you pick the best yourself. songs. Yeah. yeah. Cause like now I'd be like, and then my mind moves so fast that I'm always on some other shit. So like, I just wanted to learn how to do it. Yeah. Like, it's just like skating to me. Like I wanted to learn how to be a pro skater and I did that shit. So I'm kind of like going at it with the same approach. Yeah. I feel like um, one thing, like people constantly ask me for advice on something, like even they're just getting it started and they kind of feel like they need to put everything out when it's reality is like, nah, you should probably record a whole bunch of songs and just pick the best from that. I'm talking like maybe mm-hmm. 100, 500, 1,000. But yeah. I feel like you'd be happy and you jump the gun. Like you you make it like first, before I, before I ever dropped any music, I was making horrible music. Mm-hmm. So when I started making better music, I'm like, oh shit. I need to drop this, like, dude, mm-hmm. this this was hard, like, and then you drop it and you sit there with it and you like, I see what I was on. I wasn't on shit, but I see what I was on. I, you, you saw the thought. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like, okay. And then and then also too, some of the shit is gold, like. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of shit is gold, but I just don't like listening to it because I didn't listen to it for so much, like, mm-hmm. so much, but. Yeah, I just like making music, really. You called? Yeah, I'm about to get a sweater for real. Nigga, you- I'm about to go get a sweater. <laughs> I like Destroy Lonely. <laughs> Definitely like Destroy Lonely, nigga. Hey, can I get a sweater? Yeah, Knock needs a sweater, man, because that nigga cold right now. So, you good. That's a hard one. All right, my So. You got to be the first nigga I've ever seen in my life. No, I, I was about to say some wild shit. You was about to throw a crew neck over a college shirt, but I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that before. But all right, so you know, with you know the three projects you had, um, you learned a lot just about you know the whole entire process of you know putting music out, um, you know finding your audience and everything, or just even making stuff for your audience. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait, that was the end of the question. No, um, I wasn't the end of the question. Oh. I was wrapping the question up. Oh. I was wrapping it up, B. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as fuck we do this because I be watching you do this. Uh-huh. I'm like, Dude, look how I keep doing this job, man. And then, and like, it's funny because you the bro. Like, this shit I know, so it's so funny, right? But um, um, the last, the newest project, A Dream uh, No Longer Deferred. Yeah. I know what that means to me. Like what I got out of it when I, you know, first heard the title was basically like to me, like that means like, nigga, you're not stopping shit. Like you can't stop this. Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. It's going down. Literally. I'm doing this, nigga. This Literally. is this is God's plan. Facts. You know, but what is what does that mean to you? What did that mean to you? And how did you come up with it? Um I came up with it two ways. Like it kind of went backwards. So when I, I was in Japan and I was having a lot of thoughts about what I wanted to do, mm-hmm. what were my next steps, where I wanted to take everything that I was doing, you know? Cause like, yeah. professional skateboarder. And then you just seeing like a lot of different like growth. Like, yeah. You know, potential for other ideas. You starting to have your own different ideas. So I was like, I want something mm-hmm. similar to like what Dill had with F.A. before it was like the fucking awesome. That's like the skateboard company. It was like his little, like his little like side little thing, you know? Mm-hmm. you know? So from there, I was like, I seen like a traffic instructor, like not an instructor, but dude that was guy in traffic and he had a hat on and it said defend. And I was like, that's hard. Like mm-hmm. defend is a, kind of a better word than security because mm-hmm. it's like it kind of makes you feel more safe more safe yeah it's yeah. like defend like defender. I'm here to defend yeah I'm, I'm a defender like I'm not mm-hmm. like here to Just keep secure. you out I'm here to like keep you safe yeah so I was like damn and the hat was hard it was black and it was gray and mm-hmm. the font was it just said defend like it was just hard ass font and I was like damn that how hard like I wish I could get one of them but like mm-hmm. Uh, you feel me? You had to go to like the little work store type shit. Mm-hmm. So either way, I went home or to the hotel and I started like drawing it out, 
Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's a word like defend that I like? And I said defer. And I was like, damn, but that's a bad word in my head. Like I wouldn't want, like deferred is a bad word. If you look it up in the dictionary, it's like basically the same as procrastinating. Really? You're still cold, yeah. so we're gonna switch spots. <sighs> this is a spot. You're gonna take that spot. You're not cold? No, at all. It's a lot warmer over there. <sighs> this nigga's not lying. It's a lot warmer. You know, we, we gotta make sure you you know you get this. So you looked it up and it was uh, um it's, Let's it look was it a up. bad word. Deferred. Let's look it up. Just so we not spreading no false. Dream no longer deferred. Deferred. Okay. Put off to a later time, an action or event. Mm hmm So to put something off, to postpone, you know? So I was like, damn. Then I was like, what's something that you don't want to put off? Like, you just came to me like that. like. My dreams, nigga. Got I be having dreams, of all type of shit, mm -hmm. and saw things that I could accomplish, things I want to do. So, a dream no longer deferred. This shit is my dream. I'm gonna take this shit and I'm gonna turn it into whatever I want to turn it into. And I'm gonna make it big. I'm gonna make clothes. I'm gonna make music. Yeah. I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Any boundaries because of like, I think because like skateboarding too, like, mm -hmm. kind of like I'm not gonna say like the. Like the identity behind skateboarding sometimes is like you can't do anything else but skate. Yeah. Or else you like kind of corny or I don't know. Like, so people like hide they like hidden talents Challenge, and shit. Yeah. But it's like, bro, be yourself. Like, capitalize off yourself. Cause if you don't capitalize off yourself, another motherfucker gonna capitalize off you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it just kind of went like that. I, I feel like we live in such a world that's like obsessed with like titles and like, what you're supposed to do once you like you can do this but you can't do that and it's like such a backwards way of thinking where it's like i mean like i do a lot of stuff too but it's like i can do that that's the difference it's just like you know i'm not saying everyone can do that you know like yeah. you can do that you've clearly you know yeah. demonstrated that you can do that on i mean some it's the level, confidence some people level. don't want to do it yeah like and if you don't want to do it then it, you don't have to do it and don't say nothing about it exactly and don't don't try to put nobody in no boundary or my no whole thing is yeah box. like nigga you just because niggas be trying to sit in, a sit in a circle and talk shit about some shit because they wouldn't do it and it's like just because i wouldn't do that i'm not about to like it works for you. you yeah, you get you get joy out of that. I'm gonna support you for that. Exactly. I feel like it also comes from like um, a systematic, just like the system. It's almost like a breaking the mold type thing. Because it's like if you think about like school, right? With like desks, they're all lined up, and then you think like after that, you go to work, you clock in, like you this, like it's almost like people that do all these other things. They're like breaking that mold of that system that was in place. It's like, like the Lego movie. Just this, huh? It's like the Lego movie. Oh, the first one. yeah. Like, you just living your life. You living your life, ain't mm -hmm. you? Feel me? It's just like you know, you know, Lego Movie was tough, man. But yeah, it's just like you know, it's just like that. I feel like we gotta like you know, let people just be limitless. You know, we gotta stop limiting ourselves. Like if you look at someone, you know, R.I.P. Virgil and everything. Like that man lived his life. You know, like he had a lot more to do, but like he was constantly just creating and just being you know like bro i don't even know like how to like they about to move hold on mm -hmm. literally what are you gonna say? I was about to say that people like Virgil are so important to all of this shit because they're like, like the people that know everything, you know? Mm -hmm. Like every, every like generation, every scene, like every, every like movement has like people who know everything so that there's people to tell the story after you know yeah and he that he was so knowledgeable about like everything it's 
to us. Like, he was damn. just he was curious, and, and he, he really showed hella love every- though. Like he he showed hella love like to like me, Jolly, everybody that like skate, like all like the niggas in this shit mm-hmm. from all the way like the whole scale you feel me so it's like being someone who's like that influential influential is the exact word i was thinking and also you know like that up there like you in all these different spaces and places with all these different people but you still show love to like people in the subcultures and sub genres that you respect and not just show love you you value that you think it's very important you, you know you and you put on that, for that shit because yeah, yeah, a lot think, of niggas was like bro the shit that that nigga did for well I'm, the shit that virgil did for skateboarding and black skaters mm-hmm. i was thinking about this because it's like to have lucy and clark have a louis vuitton shoe like a professional louis vuitton shoe mm-hmm. that's nuts Oh my God, that's crazy. That's, Louis Vuitton is rich in history, like that's what I'm saying. Like rich in history, like he just by he first he first his name attached to it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So that's already a, that's already a play for niggas. Like that's already a plus. Mm-hmm. You already just broke a boundary, right? Not only that, but you you feel me? And, and your whole your whole movement is open the door, bring your niggas in, bring yeah. your people in. Tyler told me some shit like that. He told me that for real. Told him some shit like that. So I know they like they all share. If you have that mentality, mentality yeah. and if you really like act and try to do it, you feel me, and you really try to do for your people, you special you a special person. And that shit. Yeah, he definitely had he definitely he definitely had more to do. But we definitely not mad at what he did. Yeah, like, on God. You feel Amen, me? bro. He Amen. Went up for us. Yes, on God. Amen. So that we could do this shit. Exactly. Amen, brother. Um Let's get back into the album. Um, my favorite song off of there. You know that Henny. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. You know that Henny and Apple side. You know when you hear that. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my shit, man. I wanna. I wanna talk about Nakel's like creative process, man. Like, cause I've seen you record a bunch of times. You know. At Narco House, I've seen you record back here on some crazy shit. I was so that's sorry. why I wanted to do it back here. Yeah, I really be making music like right here. Like, that shit is so crazy. This is outside in the back of FA, like, and this nigga really just be sitting here recording. Like, brings your setup and everything. You've gotten to the point where now on your third, you know, by the time you're on your third album now, like, bro, like you recording yourself, you're producing yourself. You're, you know what I'm saying? You're engineering, mixing and mastering. Like you're doing all these jobs. Like how did you get to this point creative, uh, creatively? Um, I knew nobody wasn't gonna help me. I knew, no, I knew like nobody was going to, I mean, even though I got friends, like, all right. So I got a lot of friends that make music, but I never felt comfortable like Eric, you feel me? Everybody did all this shit on their own. Yeah. So they're not going to even respect me if I'm like up under them, trying to be up under them. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this shit on my own. So I had to do everything. I like bought my mic, whatever, whoop, whoop, started making the trash music, getting beats through the email, the Instagram, da da da. Recording songs, trying it. Like, damn, these shit's not good enough. Like, these not good enough. They don't sound like mm-hmm. the sound, the songs that I listen to when I'm listening to music or like when I'm in a party. Like, they yeah. don't sound like that. They don't sound like that. So now I'm trying to figure it out. Meeting more people that make music. Like all like so then some like not somehow, but you link with niggas, then you end up at narco house, right? Mm-hmm. Like for my in my case. Like so I end up at narco. Now I'm like, damn. All right. It's cool. It's cool over here. Like I can get comfortable. I know that young guy got beats. I need beats. Mm-hmm. Like, and he trying to, he like, he down, like, yeah, perp down and record me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right, for sure. Like, let's go. Like, now I'm in this bitch every day. I go skate, I'm at Narco. I go skate, I'm at Narco. Cause I just want to learn how to make good music. And I want to learn everything. So, and they, 
I'm sure what attracted you to them was just they um, matched well with the sound and the, the sound you were trying to go for and everything. Yes, I didn't. I wasn't my the sound that I always like the sound that I the sound of the things that I hear in my head. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I wasn't able to get close to that until later, later. Okay. But I was just happy that I was able to get some good beats, like beats that I fuck with. Okay. And like, all right, for sure, we could turn up. And then my vocal's gonna sound good, so we could turn up. Oh, okay, bad, bad. So, so the, the work quality was there. Overall. Exactly. And the, and the niggas was always doing this. Like, mm -hmm. they was always doing Every this. They day was always they making work. music, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's shout out to, the, the Narco House is a very uh, important, important house, I think, in just music. Exactly. And just in the space of rap, just like with all the people that's been there and come through, yeah. you know, whatever, you know, however people view, the magnitude of it but i've i've been in that house and i've seen the craziest shit i've seen you and earl in the living room cute to fool in the back room i seen and then shy glizzy or somebody in the kitchen like it'll, it'll be a random shit it, it'll be so much random shit it'll be so, so much, much. Shit. but i'm grateful because i met a lot of cool people there yeah that's where that's how we, we've met but like we, I think we got close there. Like, because everybody go there and they like be there. Like yeah. where it's like you gonna see that nigga there. That yeah, nigga you gonna see house. niggas and then you gonna see niggas around other niggas. Like you just gonna see like it's it's almost like a it's like a barricade being like taken away because everybody just chilling. Like you know, exactly it's not like seeing you outside where I've seen you outside and it's like you know, because it's not awkward. Talk. We're in a house. Yeah. Like I you gotta talk to niggas. You're in a house. Exactly. Like, or you being weird, bro. Exactly. And then niggas who, who be in the house and you like, oh, this nigga weirdo. Exactly. You in a room full of niggas and you just not talking to nobody. You're like, oh shit. Yeah. He's one of them. He's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> or he's not one of them. He's my not bad. one my of bad. them. That's, that's... Not one of them. Niggas being that motherfucker like, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? It's like, damn, nigga. Chill out, nigga. Relax. <laughs> yeah, like we all had this bit high. It's, yeah. It's, it's, niggas play video games. games. Niggas. I've never niggas do ad libs in the back. You can hear them. Like <laughs> that shit is funny. <laughs> yeah, on God, bro, on God. But all right, so you record this project. That was my favorite one, produced by um, you know Narco. You got two of them that were produced on there. Um, how many? Like, are you do you write? You punch in? Like, what does Narco be doing? I used to just punch, and like yeah, I used to just punch because I was able to like figure it out. Then niggas started kicking it with Tebe, like, and I'm like, not started kicking it with Tebe, but like musically, like yeah, like after making music, like all right, I make my music. Now I'm like, you know what? I gotta start writing, bro, cause niggas. So I be writing so that I could like mainly so that I could rap my songs when I perform them. Mm. Cause like when you punch in, you be make some hard shit and you get done and you listen to that shit and it's shit that like you can't physically say without stopping and like, st like you'll start like shit early, uh. like before words end. So when you're trying to rap that shit on, on like live, it's like, you feel me? Cause eventually I want to get to rapping to know the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it'd be like, cause if you're using that flow, like I can in a vision that one, it's like some, so you're going to only going to go for like maybe one or the second part of that. Like, yeah. I get in a vision, uh, let the crowd or like stop. I got to let the, or the music. Or some shit. I get yeah. exactly what you're saying. But it's different though, because then it also adds different things. Like there's some songs where you want to do that. Like you want it to be like that punctual and like cut yourself off and do shit like it's all, it's literally all about what you want to do for it um no nah, yeah uh, but i'm not opposed to either yeah. i i say that to say i'm not opposed to like i still punch in too because sometimes everything that i need to say every the exact words that i want to say they just they just they i don't know you feel like it just go mm -hmm. and then sometimes you want to figure out how to say something and you might need to write it down to articulate yeah. it to yourself so that you could put all your words like in the right order. I f yeah, and I feel like that that's going to come like with the caliber of musical talent that, you know, you, you you're around and, you know, you, what are you a part of? Like, you know, what were, you know, I don't know how future is not a, it's not a thing anymore, is it? <laughs> 
but you know, legendary, you know, legendary thing. But like, you know, <laughs> good, Chevy, time, good, time. good times. <laughs> Chevy, Frank, Tyler, man, like, you know, you're going to care. I feel like, I feel like you, from just meeting you and everything, you care more. Like, you know, you really care more about this shit because you like, not bro, I see how them niggas do that shit. You can't not like, that's like, that's like niggas skating with me. If you if you skating with me and you there when it's going down, like not like when it's funny or when niggas at the skate party, like when it's going down, how you gonna go home and think that you wanna do the same thing that I do and you don't go as hard? Or or you like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I can't think like, oh, I'm gonna make a song knowing my brother make a song, like a song. You feel me? Like songs, like Real Grammy life. songs, the songs like, that impacted and changed the world. Though. Generations, Jeez, nigga, yeah. people, nigga, the whole this whole shit, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Like they niggas got their hand in that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like. How I'm gonna go home and be like, shit, this shit don't matter, nigga. I'm gonna just do whatever. You can't even be average in your in in your mind. Cause you want your homies to fuck with your shit. Exactly. You feel me? Like you don't want your homies to be like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> niggas hit this the, nigga needs to stop. Like niggas you hit feel the me? cut. Turn that shit down, <laughs> bro. That shit not but him, bro. And every you feel me? All my homies stop. gave me just enough for me to be like, that's all I needed. All right, I'm gonna do my shit. You feel me? Um, no, a hundred percent. And I like that though, because, you know, with that, it inspires you more to, you know, really dig deep into really like creating some dope and like what I really liked and seen. Was, and it's my parents too. Like my parents. Oh yeah, your mom worked my, in music. music my mom right? used to rap. She did? Yeah, and she was a DJ at Power 106 or whatever it was back then. I don't, I don't remember, I don't, at Power. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. She was there. She know Big Boy, all that shit. Big Boy's Neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and then I my feel- pops too, like that nigga, right? Make music, produce and shit. That's but fine, that, like, man. he just, he a different type of nigga. So like, he was, he do, he do that shit, but he was kind of into other things. Yeah. So like, you me? Nigga was just turned. I feel it. Like. <laughs> it was like well, that I mean, so music, you know, music. But they taught me blood. a lot about that. Yeah, shit. yeah, music's in your blood and it's been around you. I'm sure they were playing a lot of dope music and shit for you yeah, growing yeah. up. What were you listening to? Or you know, when I was growing, a kid. Yeah. What were they also? What were they playing around you? And then what were you listening to when you had the decision to make? You know, I can listen to my own shit now. All right, my I pops was probably listening to like, like the locks. Like in who I remember we used to listen to this song called The Hood off this Rough Rider Rough Riders Volume One. Mm-hmm. It got like drag on a whole bunch of niggas. That nigga's man, he listen, he put me onto a lot of like like old like soul like shit. Like a lot of mm-hmm. old like hip hop, like from when like the start of hip hop, like from when he was a kid. The nigga put me on like real like just like a lot of tough hip hop. Like, mm-hmm. Well, I don't. I, I can't really even think to go back because it's like nigga done put me on everything. Like, so he's a big yeah. So it's like if you want to go sponsor. down, like if you want to go down, like that nigga got stories about like he was there. Like, so it's like wow. So like, it's like like with other rappers, like what was he? Just like in the start of hip hop, nigga. Like, in, where? Like, I mean, I can't tell it. It's them. They it's, his story. Okay, like, you feel me? So it's like, that. but like, so you so yeah. rapping is is a, is a big part of your DNA, man. So I'm guessing you were a kid around stuff too. Hell yeah, I was like, shit, probably like the good life freestyle fellowship shit. I was like a little ass kid in there. Like that's like some some like I guess like underground hip hop, but like they like kind of blew up. Yeah, I'm not gonna say kind of because you feel me. That's my people's, but yeah, they blew up. And then that's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope to know. I oddly have like, but I feel like that's everybody in LA. Like, I'm from LA, so it's like, uh, you coming in or out? Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
pull up on me, and she gonna come on me. Okay, so mm-hmm. you were um, you know, around rap since you were a child and everything. Um, back to the album. I want to get back, talk a little bit more um, about the album. So, what I noticed, right, with a dream no longer deferred, right? First and foremost, this cover. <laughs> like, where where did the inspiration for this cover come about? Please break this down because let me see. I'm, <laughs> I think this is Martin Luther King. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That's so Martin yeah. Luther King. That's yeah. MLK. That's Martin Luther King. MLK. And Lacey yeah. Hughes. <laughs> All right, look, so, oh, MLK wait. is in space, nigga. You oh, put God. MLK in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see where we at, bro? See on top of the globe, nigga. Nigga, MLK went to space before Elon, nigga, because Knock put him there. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like if anybody was to go to space, it would be a nigga in the fir- first place. <laughs> first, it would be a nigga first. Bars, <laughs> bars. If anybody been. It's probably a nigga. Space is probably a nigga. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, wow. Wow. Nah. They, wow. Need to look into that more. <laughs> um, yeah. So did you design this yourself? Hell yeah. <laughs> Everything is my idea. Like, I be thinking about all this shit, and I, then I just find people who can help me, like, do it, or if I can't do it myself. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, pretty pretty much, right? So, a dream no longer deferred. Who had a dream? Martin. Where Luther. I grew up. Oh, you grew up Martin in- Luther King. Yeah. Oh. Right? Who made the A Dream No Longer Deferred or A Dream Deferred poem? Langston Hughes. You feel me? So I didn't even know that when I when I came up with that, I never even heard of that poem. But then when I when I seen it, I was like, at first I was like, damn, I gotta change that shit. Nigga gonna think that I'm copying. But then I was like, nigga, that's a sign to just keep doing this shit. Mm-hmm. Cause like You ain't even know. That's some divine shit. Exactly. Yeah. You ain't so, even know. Now nah, that shit hard as hell. Um And it is me sitting on top of the world because nigga, this is my that's my shit. It's my world. My shit. And that's like the logo of little shit. Like yeah. I used to draw that. That's when like when I was in Japan, I drew the little the little box like logo. hmm And then I drew the little globe. Yeah. yeah, I like that, man. That nigga's stunning. With a Teflar bag, too? Yeah, you know I got a Teflar You know I had a yeah, little yeah, yeah, te- yeah. You know what I'm saying? Little, te- little green one. Yeah. You feel me? Um, what I really liked about this project and I thought was really dope was, you know, track one and 12, the intro and outro. Mm-hmm. Which is it's just the intro, but reversed. Is it reversed? Like, yeah. How did you come up with this? Like, what made you do this? I've never heard anything like that before. Uh, per- like, you know, I've, I've listened to music for a very long time. And I've never really heard anything like that where an intro and an outro. And then when it ends, it goes back in so perfectly into the intro. Yeah. That was sick, my nigga. I, <laughs> that was sick. I mean, I just be fucking around, bro. Like, I just be trying, like, because my whole thing is, like, I'm not musically trained. Mm-hmm. Like, this is all shit that I'm just trying, like, out of just curiosity. Like, mm-hmm. so it's like, when I, when I, like, try something and I'm like, damn. So, uh, P&L, right? That's, like, they from Paris. Mm-hmm. It's, like, French rap. Uh my homies out there, like I went out there and I listened to it. Now when I listen to it, nigga, I don't know what the fuck they saying. So like when I listen to the song reverse, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying either, but it's like the flow. And there's certain words that I'm like, wow, like this shit really sound like a different language. Like, And it's like, you almost want to catch on to it mm-hmm. because it's a song. So it has a flow, which means it has a reverse flow. So then you almost want to catch on like, damn, like that's how, I, that's why I put it on there. Cause I was like, fuck that. This shit kind of hard, like nah, it and it makes it, 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 it makes you feel weird a little bit. Yeah, I know people. It threw me off when I first heard it. I know I was like, what? Wait, what? I know people have done that before, like they've done the reverse in the songs and everything, but I've never heard it from the intro to the outro, like where it's that song is being used twice, you know, like repurpose the first song and then like it, when you just it just ends perfectly and goes back into it. That was super dope. Um, I know you, you know. And I'm big on that. Big on what? I want I want everything to go in a circle. Uh, like, I feel like every song, even from like the writing or freestyle, whatever, the the flow, I want it to go in a complete circle. Like, I want it to go into a complete circle so that 
if it is one song, mm -hmm. you listen to it and you don't ever realize that it ends and starts. Or, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where does it, where it keeps going, but it's everlasting. Exactly. Yeah. No, 100%. Um, 100%. I was gonna say um so yeah you said like earlier like you know the homies you 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 don't have the luxury of having regular homies to judge your music <laughs> it's like oh god it's like you know Bro, I, I don't be sending niggas my shit for real like, you don't I, send Tyler I, I only, Frank and Lenny music fuck no hell no I don't know why I knew the niggas when I was little like yeah so I still kind of look at them a little differently because it's like like maybe it's the person i am but like yeah you used to feel like you're still trying to just prove yourself like to you in a sense like where you're that like i know you're confident in your music but you feel like you're still just trying to prove yourself like really like yo no nah, i'm trying to no nah, nah, i was trying to prove i was trying to prove it to myself like Okay, you could really like make music like yeah, yeah, that's and it's, what I mean. it's even different too because it's like you could like you could do it along with like the shit that you're doing too, like because mm -hmm. I had me that was all the niggas that was like stick to skating, stop da da da, do this, and it's like all this shit like so it's like yeah, I have my moments where I like I'm like am I tripping, but then I like I'll go outside literally the same day and somebody be like yo not kill like can I get a photo like I fuck with you, or they might not even ask for a photo they're like yo like. I fuck with you, but I really fuck with your music. Like, keep doing that shit. Like, that's happened to me, like, so many times where I was like, I'm about to just focus on skating. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Do set up. Because it's like, I still want to pro shoe. It's like, still, like, Goals. things in yeah. skateboarding that I have. So it's not like I'm switching over. Like, mm -hmm. I just want to show the world that you could do everything that you yeah. put your mind to. But you got to lead by example. So sometimes oh. it, it get tough because it's like, people want to see, like, people judge you. Like, they're like, I want to see you skate. I want to see you skating. So it's like, if you do anything else, that's not what I want to see you do. I want to see you skate. Or the movie like was good. Like it was a thing that was accepted by more more people than- um, mm -hmm. When people thought it got way bigger than, cause like that, you know, that shit got big. Yeah, Jonah Hill attached to it. Like it's like, it's a big thing mm -hmm. that I'm a part of so people could get behind it. But when it's like just you trying to do your little shit, they like, why don't you go do your big shit? Like, this is your shit that like is big for you. Why don't you go do that? Yeah. Uh, I think some some. Uh, <laughs> nah, I didn't trying to get a light lighter. Uh, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, a hundred percent. Because like, all right. Well, all right. Well, let's talk about it. That you said a whole bunch of important things, right? But I remember. Fr what song did Frank post on his story? Vinny here. Chase. Vinny Chase. Yeah. 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 Vinny Chase. Nah. But like that, that must have been a crazy, as much as they're your friends, like, you know, this is Frank Ocean. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like this is once in a lifetime type of talent. And nigga, I just surprised stuff. my nigga heard it for real. Like, yeah, like how, like, <laughs> like did, I, you, did you get a text after that? Or did you, was it like, did you respond to the DM? Like, yo, appreciate it. Like, hell yeah, yeah. yeah nigga, <laughs> He was like, you know, that's your heart, nigga, he's that. Yeah, he gave some kind words, man. He like, always like, and then I take that and I go be great. Cause like, you feel me? Like, I ain't nothing, Kind words is kind words, and I always appreciate them because it show you like, all right, niggas watching, niggas like, all right, feel me? I see you. As long as nigga like, I see you, cool. I'm gonna just go do my own. Because whether nigga like, I see you, or they like, I don't see you, I'm, I'm gonna still do my shit. Yeah, you feel me? Like, so it's like, okay, cool. It's like comforting, yeah. Yeah, because you like you're, you're who you're greatest. him, H I M. Like you feel me? So then. Hell yeah, she feel good. I know. I was like, I was like, damn. Man, this, I was like, damn, this is fine. I'm like, shut up, look at my nigga Doc, turn it oh, up, man. man. That was amazing. That was dope, man. And um, that was super dope. But you also, you know, you also did something very dope. Too. That shit sent that shit up too. Like, that it shit did. sent that song up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, 
good not signed. Uh, good, yeah, uh, good tune, tune core checks. Yeah, <laughs> good spike next month. Yeah, my shit. Uh, went to Bottega. Yeah, Where'd you, no, 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 <laughs> no, I go there. I go. There. Yeah, I can't no. wait. Can't wait from. I want the red Bottega bag. The one Dro got. I ain't seen no one. It's a, it's, it's a backpack? A, it's a, no, it's a duffel. Oh, it's a duffel? I like backpacks. It's a tote. It's like a tote. I do like their backpacks. The I one like you backpacks. had last time I seen you was hard. Toast is like difficult because niggas be skating, bro. Like, yeah. I'm trying to put everything somewhere secure. Oh, God. I do like backpacks, but I want to. I just want the totes just to travel. The duffel? Yeah, the, no, no, the tote. To travel what? To just like when I travel and shit. I don't want a duffel. I want the tote. So I just keep that on me and take that on the plane. You feel me? Because I have my laptop in there. Oh. My, my switch. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like carry on bag. Yeah. Like Could you be checking is- luggage? I hope so. <laughs> what you <mean? laughs> I'm joking. I don't ever check luggage. No, we pull up right there at the beginning. If they let it slide, they let it slide. No, everything. <laughs> I do not check luggage. <laughs> they let it slide, they let it slide. I for sure do not check luggage. I, oh. I be packing like exactly what I need. Oh, and then do you buy clothes in the state too? Because I do that. If I need to. Yeah. If 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 what I'm like, it? damn, I didn't I fucked up. Or if I'm like, this not this not right. Like I I need this. Mm-hmm. I'll go find that. But usually I'm like, this is what I'm feeling in LA. I'm going to pack that. It's, you feel me? Like, all right, these are my pants. These are my other pair of pants. Depending on how long I'm going to be out there. Yeah. You feel me? Packing up drawers, socks, tees, hoodie, whatever. I'm I'm on a skate trip, so it's like, nigga, I wear the same clothes every day for real. Yeah. But you feel me? Same pants get worn. That's that's common. Same pants? In skating, yeah. For sure. That's I need new socks and new drawers, though. Yeah, I buy the new socks. And sock. new tee, for real. But, yeah, mainly. I buy that shit and I buy the socks and underwear. I go buy it in the state state I go with because I'll just pack hoodies and jeans and everything. Like yeah. if I'm gonna go and then I'll buy my forces. But lately, can't even do that no more because this the niggas are out of hand. Y'all niggas are out of pocket reselling air forces. This is my message to y'all. Stop that shit. Man, fuck it about it. Buy a, some Adidas. Yeah, buy some Adidas. <laughs> Let me get some. When your next? Oh no, no, no. what you need? Why is he your shoe? Yeah, my next shoe. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta drop some parts. And then, then the shoe I, yeah, home. then I'll probably get a shoe. Okay. I feel like because I be doing whatever I want, they like, yo, you gotta chill. <laughs> <laughs> or you just gotta show us that you care more. You though. really that still? Cause I still am. I've been skating. I saw better. you just hit the the Hollywood, uh, the high. Both of them. You just ollie both of them shit. Oh, the Twelve to sixty. That was just us to wake up. I was going there to support my homie. You went there like seven more. We went out the night before and you were like Niggas did not get home until four AM. But I wake up early every day. You do? Yeah. yeah every day. Know. What Fuck time am like? Recently, honestly, I've been waking up at like I think the earliest I woke up recently was three and I like stayed up. But now I think I went back to sleep for a little bit. Mm. But I usually wake up like around f- between four and five. Oh, okay. That's crazy. So are you waking up and you going to the gym or something? No, I think I'll wake up, up and I'll make a beat, make a song, smoke, like take a shower, like you get breakfast in the morning. Sometimes I cook breakfast. I'll make some tea, I'll make some oatmeal. And then I wait till about nine o'clock, ten o'clock to start calling like niggas that skate. Cause ain't no really ain't nobody up. Niggas that skate, niggas no. that make music, nobody unless like I'll I'll call TJ. Mm-hmm. TJ be up. He in New York. Oh, yeah. So it's like it's it's later. Like I'll call like all my out of state friends because I'll I'll be up. And then niggas be like, nigga, it's early as shit. I'll be like, yeah, what's up, early? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, I feel that. I feel that a lot because I just started um, waking up early too. Um, you get more day, bro. Yeah, and you get to by the time like you never stress out about your day if you wake up early because you get time to do everything you need to do on your time. Yeah, you feel me? I, I'm just starting to see the importance of it. Um, 
and then now I gotta like, I just started A and Ring, so like now I gotta wake up in the morning. Congratulations. I appreciate that, my brother. So now I gotta like, I'm waking up. I'd wake up and I'd give like texts, like missing the group chat by like two, three hours. I'm like, oh fuck. Nah, See? Now I gotta wake up early. So I've been waking up early and stuff. I got some corporate in me. <laughs> You got to learn, like, you got to get on a, you got to. Structure's important, man. It, de- it depends. Like if you, Unless you have somebody to do that for you, mm-hmm. you got to do it. Yeah. Like, that's what I learned about everything. Like, you were saying, what did I learn from dropping the projects? And like, everything that I learned from all of this shit is that you have to take all of the knowledge that you get and, like, store that shit and break it down and mix it in, into what you believe in. And mm-hmm. you're like, okay. This is how I could do this. And then you got to try it. And then once you try it, you'll be like, that ain't work. Yeah. Maybe I'll try this. That worked. Maybe I'll try this. Ooh, okay, that didn't work again. But I could try it like this. Or then now. Trial and error. Yeah, like you, you just going to keep doing that until it's just like, that works, that works, that works. Everything oh, I yeah, do I'm works. Oh, fucking right. You feel uh, me? I'm on a fucking roll, nigga. You can't stop this. You can't stop it, nigga. <laughs> you can't stop that shit. Can't stop it. But look, can't stop, won't stop. Why you ain't been in another movie? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, twin? I don't like auditioning, bro. I don't really like, like, I don't know. I feel like. When was the last time you even auditioned for a movie? Let's let's start there. I was supposed to do a self-tape recently and I just didn't do it because I be by myself, nigga. Like, what about, like. I don't have nobody to practice the lines with. Like I said to like care up. Like I'll just, you know, I want to write a movie. Like I don't okay. really want I don't really like being in front of the camera like that. Like I want to figure out how to take all my ideas and still like live them out, but not through me anymore. Okay. Like I'm exhausted of that. You feel me? Like niggas been like taking pictures of me and like doing like shit and asking me to do shit since I was like so young. Yeah. I mean, so you, were, like, you our future was what? How old were you? I was like 16. Did you drop out of school around that time? <laughs> yeah. I, I would have done the same fucking thing. <laughs> I never went to high school a day in my life. <laughs> because? Because? Did, that shit had nothing to do with our future. Oh, you just never went to school. Nigga, hell no. You think I drop out for our future? <laughs> you niggas know. is crazy. <laughs> I, I don't Look, know. first off, first off, in my head, those was my homies. Like, that was never, that's not my business. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? My business at that time was making my parents proud and doing what they said. So it was like, I was in middle school, right? That's about the time I met everybody. But I was in middle school and just being around, like, I was doing my own shit. Like, I was like modeling and shit. Like, just do shit, like, get bread, like, and I did Kohl's, Salvatore, Ferragamo, Target, and that shit was, like, in the Target, niggas would send me that shit all the time, and that shit looked goofy I didn't as hell. you were a model. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, so you started out, you were a model, started I stopped out- doing that so I could become a pro skater. And I'm done, because, I, like, I didn't have the confidence then to be like, nigga, fuck y'all, I'm doing whatever I want, because I was, like, a little younger. Mm-hmm. So I kind of was just like, like, I don't know. Back then, skating was tough. Like now, it's more accepting. Mm-hmm. But back then, you couldn't really do shit like that. Like everybody in the skate shop talking shit about everything. So you just sitting there looking, like taking that in, like fuck. It was almost uncool. You know what I think? But now I don't give a fuck what none of them niggas say. say. Oh God, nigga. nigga and if you a young nigga skating. Fuck what all these niggas talking oh about. God, bro. Do what the fuck you gonna do and show them that you could be better than them. And mm, you can do everything this. that they can do, and you can still do everything you do. Exactly. Watch this show, nigga. I'm about to put on for you, nigga. Hate all you want, but I'm putting a sh- good little show on for and you. And do it with love. Yeah. Do it out of love. Don't do it out of hatred. Do it out of love. Yeah. 100%. So, Nock was modeling, just doing this thing. That's dope. That's what I was doing to get bread, like, for my family. Like, because mm-hmm. it was like, you know, I'm 16, niggas need shit, but I'm not really old enough to get a job for real. Mm-hmm. And then niggas just came across some opportunity. So it was like, that shit saved me for real from having to take some different measures. Cause yeah. I, you feel me? Like I did a lot of shit, but I got a lot of angels watching over me and they you feel me, make sure that 
I stay blessed. Like if I even if I do some bad shit, I've been blessed to you feel me, maneuver, maneuver out, and never really get too deep to where it's like, damn, mm-hmm. like, it's different. But and then even with good shit, it always could put good opportunities in my in my in my way. Bet, hundred percent. Um, angels be watching, man. Shout out all our angels that be. I got so many of them. That really be looking out for us and everything, keeping us safe. Um. So, Star Wars, Harry Potter. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I'm fucking. Well, with I was about you. to say, what's up? I was about to say, I'm like, nigga, what will, will that be? Something would take something like that to get you back on the screen. Low key. Like, Low key. I definitely want to. I definitely want to be a part of like uh, something outer worldly, like because like in, in mid nineties, I you know in a sense play not myself but a skater, mm-hmm. young black skater. It was easy. Yeah, nigga, I do this. You feel me? Like I played that role. I played every role in that movie mm-hmm. in real life. So like I understood the dynamic. You feel me? So it's mm-hmm. like all right for sure. Um. Yeah, but I, I want to do like a big project, something that's like very interesting. Um, my mama was like, I mean, my grandma was like, I, yeah, she came to the mid 90s premiere and was like, I'm proud of you, but like, not not because you were in a movie, but because of the role you played in the movie. So then after that, I was like, damn, like now I got to play like a good, like, I, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. even though I'll, I'll play a villain. I want to play, I'll, I'll play anything. For Imagine real. You but it just got to be the right thing. Imagine like. Knock was the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> or the Joker, some crazy shit like that. Hey, hey. I'll do some shit like that. That would be it just It just depends. Well, hopefully we'll see you back on the big screen soon. But um, I want to talk about your new character, your new alias, race car stuntman. That's not me. That's my friend. That's your friend. Yeah. How how did you meet this friend? Let's let's deep dive into this friend. <laughs> <laughs> how did this friend come about? The stuntman, bro. He found me. Yeah. Peter Parker shit type shit. You're the only one that can take pictures of him. Nah, Tebe no. Okay. Z knowing four five four or four fifty four knowing, Mike knowing, Mavi knowing, Sasha knowing, mm-hmm. Liv knowing, bunch of motherfuckers knowing for real. So when is a uh, race race car gonna put some material out? He dropped. I I dropped for him. Oh, you dropped for him? Yeah. He don't know how to use distro kid and shit. So like I was showing him and then I accidentally dropped his shit on my shit. Oh. Yeah. So soon once he get his distro kid. But now it's kind of like my artist. So it's like, I'll probably just go, I don't know. He just really like. You signed him to a 360 deal? Fuck no, I never do my niggas like that. (laughs) I never do my niggas like that. Oh God. (laughs) Um, My man, race car stuff, man. What what um what separates race car stuff man from everyone else? I mean, he made he doing all that shit by himself too. Mm-hmm. He got Liam with him. Liam makes all his videos, and really, I think he's been trying to have fun. He really want a Hellcat too. They get really with a hell okay. He said they about to end that shit in 2023. You gotta hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. gotta that hurry up on that. Cause told that shit you. gonna be I feel like niggas are still gonna get that Hellcat though. For sure. They're still gonna get it. For sure. Honest. Watch that bitch. I'm be still faster. gonna get it. Watch it be faster than the regular shit. What? The, the electric Hellcat? Yeah. Oh, the elect you think they're gonna come up with an electric Hellcat? I mean the Tesla's fast as fuck. The and Tesla is the Tesla is very fast. I'm not saying that they're not gonna come out with fast cars, but do you think it's still gonna be a Hellcat? Like I feel like, I feel like personally, I would rather them come out with some different shit like that for the based electric. on electricity. Okay, you know because electricity Man. is very fast too. Like, well, I think they're just trying to really just you know if they still selling that name, it's just nigga, motherfuckers be like thirsty and shit to like keep some shit alive. 
Yeah, it's like, like rebooting think, movies and series. Like, do something new. Like, bro, switch it up. Let, and then, you know, switch it one up, thing that I really fuck with, like, there's no, I'm not going to tell people, like, a dream no longer deferred is important because, like, you should get these pieces now. Like, but, like, that shit is going to end and I'm going to do something else. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's like, if you do fuck with that shit, and now I start some new shit, that's it. Like, that's it. Like, I'm so like down, like with, even with skating, like I think about like a retirement part. Like I, I be thinking about shit. Like I've been thinking about that since I was a child. Like do this, this is like everything, even like the break that I may have took, all of this shit has been pl- like mm-hmm. a part of my plan because it's like, I don't want to like overkill myself. Like, so it's just doing everything in moderation. It's tight. I feel like niggas find that formula or find what works and they just run that shit into the ground until it's nothing no more. Yeah, I think the, uh, I think the, yeah, the art of just like, for me personally, like I like new stuff. Like I go and go find new artists or just, Facts. or I do interviews with artists I like. <laughs> like I'm not doing sitting down with 30 niggas a week, bro. Exactly. Like, I don't like your music. This is not happening. <laughs> Like, I don't care. I don't, or I necessarily not, maybe I don't even necessarily have to just like your music. Like, there's got to be more for us to talk about than just like nonsense. Like, you know, I'd rather talk about life or just you personally, your music. But ultimately, bro, I got to like your music. I got to like something about it, you know? Like, some got to make me like have a good feeling. Like, oh, I want to listen to this. I want to talk to this dude, you know? That's how I feel. That's how I feel about everything that I do. Stuff that, you know, new and fresh and something that matters, you know? Like, I can't do anything like all right, being at Joe Crib. Mm-hmm. I don't be making music with nobody. Like I still make all my music like by myself or with Z mm-hmm. or with Tebe or with somebody that I actually know because communication and like connection, it like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it mean a lot, mm-hmm. but I got in some trouble fucking around communi- communication and connection shit. So it's like, damn, I'm lucky cap. But like, it's important. That shit's important. You got to be able to like talk about shit. Yeah. Even shit that's hard to talk about. Them hard, uh, hard conversations. We get older, we got to have them. Yeah. It's a big part of growing up. I think he's been dealing with that too. Well, my boy, Knock, we usually do this to close it out and everything. What is your message for our generation? Um, My generation, I mean, what? <laughs> my gen- message mm-hmm. to our generation is to fucking stay strong and to prosper through all of the bullshit that's going to come your way. You feel me? Life is very precious. Other people's lives is precious. We got to take care of one another. We got to support one another. You know, with no ulterior motives. You just got to be kind. Be great to yourself. Look in the mirror and be proud of yourself and make sure that you're just trying your best and that you're doing whatever you can, whatever you feel is your best. And don't mm-hmm. never be upset with yourself because you're not doing enough. Um, yeah. Be great. Be great. My nigga, not. Thank you, my boy. That was dope.